I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness Two battery systems or two power supplies And then after that we'll, we'll move on to superposition and then from superposition we'll move on to Tavenin then from Tavenin we'll move on to uh, revision okay. then we'll just revise it and stuff okay. the law is still the same though it's whatever goes in must come out are we together? Yes. have you ever noticed the law of conservation of energy is, is, is like the governing law for everything Okay, so let's do two battery circuits. Are we together? Yeah. Now we're given a very beautiful diagram here on the board. Now I need you to take notice of the direction of the currents. Are we together? Yeah. That's very, very important. Okay, so in this case, we are given the circuits with. Now, in the final exam, if they give you a circuit that you've never seen before, right? I need you to simplify it to a circuit that you know. Are we together? Yes. Don't try to do anything else. Just try and simplify it to a circuit that you know. Because they'll try to confuse you as much as possible. Are we together? I must try to break it down. Yeah. Break it down to a circuit that you understand. Yes. And also, I also need you to pay attention to the polarity of the battery. Are we together? Let's look at these two batteries. Which, which side is positive and which side is negative? And what does the sign be say? This is positive, right? Yeah, yes. And the positives are all facing one direction. And the negatives are all facing one direction. Yes. Now, this means that these two batteries are all supplying, right? Like if this battery is, is bringing 10 amps and this one is bringing 20 amps, right? You will have these two batteries all supplying here. Yeah, are we together? Switch. Okay, so here you've got 12 volts, which is V1, and then here you've got R1, which is 8, or oh, it's still the same circuit. No, it's not, never mind. 8 ohms. And then here you've got R2 with 6 ohms. And then here you've got RL. Now, RL stands for R load, are we together? Yes, which is 12 ohms. And then this is V2, which is equals to 9 volts. And the current that is flowing here is I1. If they give you the currents, it's absolutely fine. If they don't give you the currents, it's also absolutely fine. Are we together? I don't want you to overstress it. And then here you get your I2. And then in this case, what's going to be the name of this current that is flowing here? I can name it I3. I3. Yeah. That is correct. I, yeah. But remember... I1, I, I, I2, I1 minus I2. That's also perfect, right? Yeah. That's correct. But we are not at that level yet. So at this, at this level, uh, we're going to do three unknowns in uh, electro electrotechnics. But in this case, in industrial electronics, I need you to always have two unknowns, not more than two unknowns. That means I also need you to have only I1 and I2. Don't have I1, I2, I3. Or don't have IT, I1 and I2. Because those are three unknowns. Are we together? Yes, sir. So you've got I1 coming in and I2 coming in. So that means here you're going to have I1 plus I2. Because all of them are feeding in one item. Are we together? Yes, sir. So and then after this, we are going to make loops. Oh, it's still going to be the same thing. The loops are not finished. They are still there. So after this, we're going to make loops. Now, in this case, the question says calculate. Hmm, Calculate the voltage drop across the load resistor and the current flowing through the load resistor. Are we together? That means they want us to calculate the current. Yes. yes. So they want us to calculate I1 plus I2, and they want us to also calculate V, D, at R, L. Are we together? Yes. So let's start. Huh? Yes. So let's call this one A. Let's call this one B. Let's call this one C, D, E, F. But in this case, though, I don't want you to put too much emphasis on the loops. I want you to put emphasis on one point only, which is your RL. Are we together? So if you're going to make a loop, because the question is very specific, it, has, it didn't say calculate I1 or I2, it wants us to calculate I1 plus I2. And your I1 plus I2 is here. 
Are we together? You might have another question. In, in this case, it might not be I1 plus I2. It might be I2. So that means I need you to forget everything else and then just concentrate on that point which they are asking you. Are we together? Sweet. So let's make our loop, which is going to be A, B, E, F, A. Are we together? So it starts from here, goes to here, 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 then back up again. Are we together? So it's going to be VT is equals to V1 plus VL. Let's call it VL, right? Because it's the voltage drop at the load. So it's going to be a uh, VT is equals to V1 is equals to I1 multiplied by R1, right? Yes. Plus, and then here our current is I1 plus I2. Multiply by R L, right? Yeah. So now let's do the substitutions. So here is twelve volts is equals to I one multiplied by eight. Uh huh. Plus and then should we uh, let, uh, let's just substitute as then we itemize it on. And then R L is given as twelve. 12. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my handwriting. I've got a doctor's handwriting. <laughs> okay. Still jet. So let's let's move on, right? So it's going to be 12 is equals to 8 multiplied by I1, you get 8 I1, right? Yes. And then plus, let's open the brackets there. I1 multiplied by 12, you get 12 I1. 12 I1. Plus and then this I2. plus 12 I2, thanks. 12 I2. And let's do some mathematics here. 12 is equals to all the I1s together and all the I2s okay, together. Oranges first. Mm, oranges to oranges and apples to apples. That means 8 plus 12 is going to give you. Hey, using a calculator for that and winners. No, I'm 20. Still this, 20. <laughs> 20 I1 plus 12 oh, I2. Right? Let's move over to the second circuit, right? Uh. So let's move over and let's start our circuit from here. Now, here's the thing that I want you to take note of, right? Our current is going in this direction. Yeah, that's what now, the if you in. choose to make your loop start at B, C, D, E, B, make sure when your current is going in this way, but your loop is going in that way, you put a negative. Are we together? Yes. But in this case, why should we stress ourselves extra? Ne? Why should we stress? I'm stressed because it's using two batteries. Now, nah, don't stress too much. Don't stress about that one. Okay. Let's think about the loops. Ne? Yeah, why should we stress it? ourselves? Ne? By making a loop that goes against the direction of the current. Let's just make a loop that goes together with the direction of the current, shall we? Yes, yes. Okay, so let's start from B, E, D, C, B. This one goes together with the direction of the current. Because this one starts from B, goes down to E, like this. That's the direction of the current, right? Mm -hmm. So let's start with saying VT is equals to V2 plus VL. Are we together, right? Yes. And if we move on, Vt is equals to uh, V2, it's I2, multiplied by R2, plus Vl, which is equals to I1 plus I2, multiplied by R2. Now let's do mathematics. 9 is equals to, uh, that's what, 6. I2 multiplied by 6 plus I1 plus I2, multiplied by 12. 12. Switch. Now let's do some mathematics. Let's do the mathematics in here. Okay. So 9 is equal to 6 by I2 is, is going to give us 6 I2. 6 I2. That's perfect. Plus, and I1 multiplied by 12, that's going to give 12 us 12 I1. 12 I1. Yeah. And yeah. that's by that's going to give us 12 I2. 12 I2, right? Yes. Perfect. And now let's itemize apples to apples, oranges to oranges. Donkeys to donkeys and baboons to baboons, right? Yes. Oh, six, what else? Six, 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 six plus two, twelve, ne? Yeah, let's start with I one. So I one, since it's just one, and then this two give us eighteen. 18 yes. Perfect. Plus eighteen I two. Now this makes equation two. Now the last time we did substitution, no? Yes. This time we wanted to do elimination. What do you think? Yeah, because. So let's just balance it out. Yes. Substitution first, elimination yes. second. Yes. Okay. So when we're doing elimination, what we do is we're going to put these two equations and then we're going to stack them on top of each other. So let's start with the first one. It's 12 is equals to 20 I1 
plus 12 I2. Are we together? Yes. That's the first one. And let's do the second one. The second one is going to be 9 is equals to 12 I1 plus 18 I2. Are we together? Yes. Sir. Now, after this, we look for which value to eliminate. Are we together? Whether we eliminate I1 or whether we eliminate I2. I2. Are we together? Yes. Now, which one do you feel like eliminating here? Mm. I1 or I2? Uh, let's do it for, 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 for I2 because I1 because I can see the numbers I can use. I can, they are simple. I can use two. I can. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Okay, let's eliminate I1. Yes. Now, in order for everything to be easier, remember what you do on the left hand side is the same thing that you do on the right hand side. Yeah, so, if we are going to multiply 12 by any number, we should also multiply everything with that same number. Yes. If we are going to multiply 9 with a number, we should multiply everything with that same number. Are we together? So Simple stuff. Huh? Yes. <laughs> now, to make it easier, we are eliminating I1. Yes. So, let's make I1, the values for I1, to be similar. Are we together? So, we are going to multiply equation 1 with 12. Are we together? You will multiply it with a smaller number, but it's too much work. Why should we work extra? Right? We're engineers. Engineers are supposed to be efficient. Yes. Right? Yeah. And then here we multiply with 20. Are we together? So you see, we, this one, we multiplied it with this one. And this one, we multiplied it with that one. Are we together? Yeah. Now, if you say 12 multiplied by 12, what do you get? 12 multiplied by 12. Is 12 squared. Uh, what do you get? Yeah. 144, right? Yeah, good. I was blessed by the gods in the yes. <laughs> And then if you say 20 multiplied by 12, what do you get? 20 multiplied by 12. Yeah. I'm getting... Do you know? 240. 240? Yes. Yeah, I was, I was afraid of being wrong. Okay. 240 I1. And then 12 multiplied by 12 is going to be still the same number. Yes. Plus 144 I2. And then we come down here. If you say 90, oh, sorry. 9 multiplied by 20, you get? 120. Yeah, 180, right? Yes. And then 12 multiplied by 20, you get? 20 multiplied by 20. 240, no? No. We say 20 multiplied by 20. No, by 12. Sorry. 20 multiplied by 12. Mm. Yeah, it's 240. 240. And then, come in, Minerizawi. And then if you say 18 multiplied by 20, you get? 18 multiplied by 20. Mm. It's 360, right? Yes, sir. Oh, I was blessed by the gods. Now we are a we are prayer. 360, I too. Now after this, now we've got the same values for this one and that one. We can now subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Are we together? So let's say everything here is going to be minusing everything there. Are we together? So 144 minus 180, what do you get? Your answer is going to be negative in this case. 180 minus? No, 144 minus 180, what do you get? 144. I don't know if I should trust my answer, I'm getting 36, is yeah, it correct? 36 minus ah, 36. that's correct, minus 36. And then 240 minus 240 gives us zero. Therefore, we've eliminated I1. Why is that right? I2 here, yeah, sorry. I1, right? Yes. Therefore, we've eliminated I1. Mm -hmm. And then 144 minus 360. What do you get? The answer is also going to be negative. 236. Uh, the answer is 216. 216? Yeah. Oh, yes, 16, not 80. 216. 216. I2, right? Then after this, you divide both sides by negative. 216 both sides by negative 216. Therefore, I2 is going to be equal to you see 0, 0, 0, 0,16667. Let me make this one nicely. 0, 0,16667. And this one? Yes. But the question is not looking for I2, is it? Yes. It's looking for I1 plus I2. So let us find uh, 
I1 now. Now you can choose from the equation 1 and the equation 2. Which one would you want to pick? From equation 1 or equation 2? Which one do you want to use? Which one do you want to use? Equation I, I, 1 or equation 2? I In order for us to calculate the value for I1. We can go for equation 2. With it. Equation 2. Yeah. Alright, let's use equation 2. Let me just write it here. So it's now 9 is equals to 12 I1 plus 18 I2, right? Yeah. That's the equation. Now, let us make I1 subject to the formula, shall we? Yes, yes. Sir. Okay, so it's going to be I1 is equals to, right? Yes. And then 9, which is this one, 18, if you take it and you bring it here, it's going to be minus 18 I2, right? Yes. And then if you divide, if you remove, to remove this 12, we're going to divide everything by 12, right? Yes. Divide it by 12. So I1 is equal to 9 over 12 minus 18 I2 over 12. Now let's substitute and let's put in the values. Sorry, it's supposed to be I1. Let's put in the values. 9 over 12 minus 18 multiplied by 0, 0,1667. All of it is divided by 12. What do you get your answer as? Comma two five or one quarter. So this one is pretty simple now. It's three over four minus one over four, and you know your answer is going to be two over four, which is goes to zero comma two Oh, it's going to be going there. Mm. So in this case, everything is now simple. Now. In this case, everything is now simple. Now we're looking for i one plus i two. Which means it's going to be 0, 0,2 plus 0, 0,1667. What do you get your answer as? I should, I should, I should, I should uh, just put my back. 337, that's correct. Man. Let me check in the textbook if that's the correct answer. According to the textbook, we are wrong. So let me just try to see where we went wrong. We went wrong when we calculated our I1. No, never mind. It's me who's wrong. Sorry. You, you guys didn't correct me. 2 over 4 is not 0, 0,2. Uh, it says 0, 0,25. Yeah, this is equals to 0, 0,5. Sorry. This is equals to 0, 0,5. And then this is going to be 0, 0,5 plus this. What do you get? Yeah. It's supposed to be like this. Sorry, I made a mistake. Everything was correct. I'm the one who just made a mistake. This will not give us 0, 0,5. 0, 0,5. No, no. And the final answer will be 0, 0,667, right? Yes. Then that's the final answer. That's correct. All right, switch. So this is how you calculate your pitch of slow. Right? Yes. And remember, if your circuit comes upside down here, right, note the direction of the current so that when you're doing your loops, right, yes. make sure that your loops will go in the exact direction that they are supposed to go, are we together? Yes. Don't make your loops go upside down, inside out, and your currents go upside down, inside out. Make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. If this, if the positive is down and the negative is up, right, that means this current here is going in that direction, are we together? Yeah. Right? And if this plus, or sorry, and if this plus is down here and this minus is up here, that means instead of this one to go this direction, it means now it's going that direction. And what does it mean if you get a negative answer here? Mm, which means the, 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 the direction. direction of the current was wrong. Are we together? So don't stress too much. And revise. Are we together? Yes. Sir. So now there's going to be questions after this. Mm. Yeah. My, my question is... Uh, is any other way they make it vice versa with other side to be positive? The other yeah, side yeah, they will, they will, they will, they will make the other side positive and the other side negative. Trust me on that. Believe that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I think for our benefit of, uh, mm. we'll do it some other time. Okay. Switch.